I do have some things in mind, but I'm like. Welcome back friends, it's Jemmy the Jemmy here. I go by Jen, Genesis, whatever you want to call me. I am here to show you guys how I take my pictures, how I edit them, how I get the bomb lighting. But if you're not already, make sure to subscribe right here. That way you guys can get notified when I post. Click that little bell button and yeah, let's get straight to it. Okay, so I want to start off with what I use to take my pictures. I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. I've taken pictures off of my iPhone since I can remember. I was never the type to use a camera. I'm gonna screen record everything and then just put it here on the screen. Okay, so starting off, I use Tezza. Tezza is like one of my favorite apps. I have to double check how much I've paid for this because I think I do pay every month or it's like a one-time thing. Um, so I'll put the price right here. Okay, so I chose a selfie and I also chose a kind of like a filler picture. I mean, it's still of me, but like not really like a selfie. And literally what I do, I just copy and paste my filters. Obviously, I will go into depth what exactly I do. But this just makes it so easy because I don't have to like drag every single like contrast, exposure, all of that onto every single picture. That's why I love it. Quick and easy. This is a picture. As you can tell, it's not anything crazy. Very, very minimal. Um, I use the Coco filter. I set it to 13. And then as for my other ones, exposure is off. Um, brightness is negative 5. Contrast is negative 2. Shadows is negative 1. Highlights, negative 2. Saturation is off. Um, grain is set to 8, 6, and 14. And I don't think I have blur. Yeah, blur is off. Temperature is off. Sharpen is at 3. And then all the colored ones, I'm pretty sure they're off. But yeah, I just wanted to double check for you guys. But that's pretty much it. It's quick and easy. As you can tell, like, it's very, very minimal. And then same for, like, the other one. I'll show you guys what's the before and after. Before after nothing like super duper crazy i'm gonna save this picture and i kind of want to show you guys what i do in case i feel like the lighting took over my makeup and what i mean by that is that sometimes like when i take a picture in like this really bright lighting it almost washes out my makeup so like if i do like a dark lash line it almost looks like shiny or it looks gray so what i do i will go on to facetune and I did have to double check which face tune I use, one or two. I just used the original one. But as you can see here, I'm just going to open up the picture. You can see everything else that I have on my photo camera roll. Um, but this is a picture. All you have to do is zoom in. This is just with... This only has a Tesla filter, so it doesn't have anything else. Let's say I wanted to darken up the lash line. I will take tones. I will take it to the darkest tone there is. If I feel like I still need to go darker, then I will bring the palette and just bring the color a little bit lower. And with the tones brush, you literally just go back and forth. I like to do like little by little because if I go back and forth, it just looks really fake. And you want to do it so like no one knows you actually did it, like, you know. Um, but that's it. And then you can see, oops, I put some on my forehead. <laughs> But as you can see, it looks a little bit darker, but it doesn't look fake. Feel me? Um, but that's pretty much all I do. Sometimes I will take the details brush too, and I will go onto like my nose ring just to like highlight those pieces so you can like really see it more than anything like on jewelry. So like my ear piercings. I have a whole bunch of rings in this picture like my necklace and it's such a small detail, but as you can see, it kind of like makes them like a little bit like more bling bling yeah something extra but that's pretty much it i'm not the type that like just i don't know takes all these pictures and then just kind of posts them however i'm very picky with how my feed looks and i personally don't even think i have a perfect feed so i should work on that i don't even think i have a perfect feed but i still like to plan it out so usually it's like a filler picture selfie filler picture selfie so the app i use to prep my feed is called preview it's this bottom left corner one as you can see i have a whole bunch of pictures already prepped this is what it looks like these are all my previous pictures it goes up until this one with the hat let's say i've already posted the picture that we edited but i'm gonna show you guys what it would look like on my feed so pretty much since i did 
a selfie and then I did not a filler picture but something that's not a selfie I will go ahead and put that one next and I kind of just keep random pictures above it so I can kind of see how my feed is going to be looking so let's say I would do another filler picture next then a selfie then another filler picture next and then a selfie and you kind of can see like the vibe I'm going for right now I'm kind of just like mm, I'm trying to get like lighter pictures or more like spring pictures not so much like gray black tones because I don't want that moody feed anymore but it dude it's hard it's hard <laughs> to get like that perfect feed because I'm always comparing myself to other creators I'm like oh my god their feed is so cute but then I also get those compliments saying like oh your feed is so cute but I'm like it's not how I want it to be, but it's okay. <laughs> Biggest question I get, I kid you not, what lighting do I use? So I'll put the picture of the light panels I use right here. They're from Amazon. They're roughly around, I think 200, and it's the best Amazon purchase. Like I kid you not, I feel like once I started using these lights, my content, I don't want to say it went through the roof, but I feel like my content looks so much more like crisp and so much more clean. Let me show you what it looks like without this. Okay, lo voy a desenchufar. Look at this. Like, isn't that crazy? Because this is what I mean when I tell you guys that my vanity lights are so cool toned. Like, they're so blue and cool toned. I mean, te ayuda, but I mean the difference. Alright, turn on. <laughs> it is massive. I only keep one for myself and then I keep one for when I freelance. And the cool thing about them too, like the way you can store them is so easy. They come with the bag. I would say like this big, you put the panel and then the tripod doesn't fit in there, but the tripod gets really small too. And I can do not, amazing. I get asked when I do like those mini pictures, like on my stories, I get asked like, oh, what filter are you using? Like, how did you get this picture? And all I have to do is lower the exposure. So kind of like, here's an example. I will put a whole bunch of pictures right here and I'll show you like on the camera, like what I mean by this. It makes the pictures almost look like they have a filter. This is my filming setup right now. All you have to do is lower the exposure. Obviously, it looks so much cuter when you have like an aesthetically pleasing setup. But yeah, for my stories, I will probably 90% of the time take a picture off of my phone and then post it on stories. This other little detail too that I wanted to talk about is how I get specific fonts, like cool fonts on stories. I learned this on TikTok. And I wanted to show you guys. People use the app over, but I use Canva because I do pay for it. So I'm like, I need to use it to my advantage. So what I will do, I will click Instagram story, the template. Make the background like a different color because most of the time I will make my font white and then do a transparent background. And this just makes it easier to see. So I will put add a subheading and I'm just going to put hi friends. And then you click text, click whatever text you want. I like um, Afra, I think it's pronounced, Calgary. If I say it wrong, I am so sorry. But um, I really like brown sugar or this one too. I believe it's BD script. I'm like having to zoom in. <laughs> um, but this is what it looks like. I'm gonna just keep that one. Make the font obviously bigger, like so. And then all you do is click download and then transparent background. And then it will save to your camera roll. Now we will take it to Instagram. Okay, so now you will choose whatever picture you want. Click the little square with the smiley face. Go down to where you can click your camera roll. You know what button I'm talking about. And then you can just zoom in that picture, click it wherever you want, and then center it, and it's good to go. And you can also use these on TikTok. You just gotta click um, stickers. And then those will come up too. You can choose a picture from your camera roll. Okay, and last but not least is how I pose for my makeup pictures. Okay, so I keep my lighting in the same exact place. But the thing is, I will always turn off my vanity lights. So let me go ahead and turn these off so you guys can see the difference. Okay, as you can see, it looks a little bit more dark in my background. So now when I go ahead and take my pictures... I'm gonna have like very warm lighting on my face, but the background is gonna be a little bit more dim. It takes me like a hundred times to get the right picture, but I'm just gonna pose away. So lately what I've been doing, I really want um, my light to show up in the background. So I always do like a little monochromatic moment. If I'm wearing orange, it'll be orange. If I'm wearing pink, it will be pink. So I want that light to come out in the background. 
I just take a whole bunch of pictures. Okay, and low key, I hadn't taken any pictures of my makeup today, so this is kind of doing like two in one. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and see what picture I liked the most. And then I kind of just favorite them, put a little heart on it. So when I go into Tezza, it's just easy to pull up my favorites and put that filter on top of all of them. I'm like here trying to think like, am I missing anything else? I have more apps, but not that I use like religiously. Like I'm showing you guys what I use on an everyday basis or whenever I'm going to post. So that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure I mentioned earlier that TikToks, I always film through my phone. TikToks, I don't really do anything differently. But I will make sure to link my Amazon storefront again because I have like my phone tripod. I, I also have a couple other like knickknacks that I really like for content creating. But I think that's a wrap. This video I know is going to be like super simple because like I said, I'm pretty simple when it comes to it. I'm lazy, but I'm a smart lazy because I already have my filter on and it's just like bam 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 like I finish everything quick what takes me longer content wise is obviously making the content editing wise it's easy but YouTube is a whole different story YouTube takes me forever <laughs> but yeah that's pretty much it guys I hope you guys liked this video I hope it was informative you guys learned something from it if you have absolutely any questions make sure to comment it comment it down below <laughs> that way I can answer it for you guys and I will see you guys on my next video bye